My name's Martin Bolter. I work here at City College Plymouth and I work in the Technical Innovation and Maritime Skills Department, dealing with students studying up to BSCs in Marine Engineering, Naval Architecture, Marine Autonomy and Mechanical Engineering. We're in a brand new building here in, down in Plymouth and uh, this was funded through the Southwest Eye Institute of Technology. We were given a funding bid to go out and buy unique pieces of equipment to support teaching our students in the subject areas that we, we deal with. One of those pieces of equipment was we wanted a four or five axis CNC machine. So we went out to a range of companies across the country and contacted Dalton's Wodkin. Uh, and through the conversations with Andy Walsh at Dalton's Wodkin, he quoted for the Kimler as a recommended product that would meet our unique use case. So we process a, a wide range of materials, uh, a lot of uh, timbers, a lot of uh, plywoods. We do some uh, traditional oak materials and hardwoods. Uh, but one of our unique use cases is for machining large blocks of foam uh, into hull forms uh, for our development of the students' work within the sort of naval architecture, marine autonomy sector. The Kimler's been an incredible asset to this new facility. Uh, it gives the students the opportunity to really progress their ideas and their innovation and their creativity within this sort of marine space. It speeds up the process from design through manufacture into actual testing in real environmental conditions. We've gone from months of work down to hours of work and therefore students can actually create and develop their innovative ideas, not just once, but several times during their process. Previously, we didn't have anything. Uh, uh, we didn't use a CNC. It was all done the old fashioned frame on plank way, which meant that the, the time taken to produce one of the plugs uh, was over a month to two months. We've now got that down to under an hour to an hour and a half for a quarter scale, which means the students can get hands on with their CAD drawings, their 3D models. Um, but when doing full plugs uh, from start to finish in under a day, and we're able to then produce the mould straight off the back of them uh, in under a week. Uh, so really, it's really sped up the, the process massively. Uh, and it gives us the other opportunity to bring other ideas to life. So as you've seen, we've got furniture around the facility that our students have designed and manufactured as just a way of learning the machine, learning the technology, learning the interfaces. So the operators here at City College are the staff and the technicians. Uh, when the machine was installed, I was trained by the Dalton Wodkin staff. It was a two day training course. And because of my background in CAD and 3D modeling, it was really easy to transfer over to this piece of software that comes with a machine. I approached Andy Walsh at, at Dalton's Wodkin and we, we were able to have a telephone conversation initially and we were going to initially have a, a, a sort of site visit. Unfortunately, COVID put bait to that, which then gave us a real problem. We have a really, really unique use case, not just flat panel furniture, but also the 3D models of, of foam uh, for of boats. Talking to Andy and the team at Dalton's, they were able to put my mind at rest. They showed me the potential of the machine, but basically from start through to finish, it was done totally remotely. Uh, the machine was purposely designed for this space as well, so we had that, uh, that technical difficulty. And actually, it wasn't until the machine was delivered to the site did I actually ever get hands-on with an actual machine. Uh, and it's lived up to all my expectations and we're now actually really pushing the machine and trying to see what the, the limitations are of it. But that confidence with the team from being COVID, in COVID, I was very nervous, of course, you know, it's a big investment, um, but it was totally justified. They delivered on time, on budget, uh, and they've delivered a machine that far exceeds what we're actually using it for at this moment in time. The investment from the Southwest Institute of Technology has really been able to put City College Plymouth uh, on the map of high technology industry and have given us the ability to invest in equipment like the Kimler through Dalton's Wodkin.